All right, question number 13. We have a triangle, ABC. All right, so I'm gonna just create a triangle. I'm gonna call it ABC. And its perimeter is expressed by 15X plus three. So perimeter, don't forget perimeter means the distance all the way around. So that means if I was to add up all the sides, my perimeter on this one would be 15X plus three. Now, remember, we talked about this in class, is that normally when we measure something, we would have an actual number, but we're using par uh, expressions in place of that. And then later on, what we'll do is we'll take the, the when we solve for actual x, we'll actually find out what each length of the sides are. All right, we have another triangle, and we'll put it in a different color. And that triangle is going to be QRS. And it has a perimeter of 6x plus 2. The question says, what is the difference? All right, so we know that difference means subtract. All right, and this we've got to be careful because we're going to have this expression, and we'll put in parentheses here, and then we have this expression right here. Now remember, we're really taking this triangle and we're subtracting it from, uh, taking the red triangle and subtracting it from the black triangle. Now, if you remember, the distance is all represented by a expression. Let's, let me use this for example. Let's say we know the perimeter here is 30 and we know the perimeter here is 15. We would subtract 30 minus 15. However, if we have a variable with this, we not just subtract 15, we have to also, we don't just subtract 15, we'd also have to subtract the x as well. So this negative gets distributed to both the 15 and the x. So in our case, we're actually going to take this negative and we've got to distribute first. So this becomes a negative 6x plus 2, and this guy still stays at 15x plus 3. We don't have an equal sign. So we're not going to change the signs, we're just going to compare, uh, compare terms. So we're just going to combine like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I like doing this, I have 15x right here and a minus 6x here. Well that gives us 9x right there. Remember the sign follows, so that's negative 6x. All right. Did you notice I messed up? I, when I distribute the negative to the 2, did I change my sign here? This is a common mistake. A lot of kids will do this. So we have made a mistake here. So we're going to go back and fix this. Instead of a plus 2, we should have what here? A minus 2. There we go. Now that is correct. Now we can put 15x plus 3. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. And if you look at this one, this one is plus three and this one's a minus two. So let's see that's a big difference and this makes it a plus one. So my answer is nine X plus one is the difference in the two together. Just don't forget, whenever you have a subtract sign, you have to distribute to both. Not like I did the first time, where I didn't distribute to the same one. You make sure you distribute to both.